With most of us working from home, video calls are inevitable. And while you may be able to get away with not turning on that camera for some meetings, for other meetings, you do have to look good and on camera. And how do you look good on camera? Well, good lighting. Today we'll be taking a look at the Flash Shoot video conference lighting, which for $39.99 promises to brighten up your video calls on Teams, WebEx, Zoom, you name it. Will this help you look good for $39.99? I don't know, stick around for a full video review. There are many options on the market for video conference lighting. Some of the more popular ones including the Loom Cube, but with that popularity, you pay an extra expense. The Flash Shoot is an affordable $39.99 on Amazon, get it straight to your house, and start spicing up your video calls. Opening up the box, we reveal some directions, which you probably won't need, as well as the assorted items that come with the flash shoot video conference lighting. First off, the actual light. Perfect. The light itself only weighs in at 96 grams, so it is lightweight and portable. It includes a 2000 milliamp hour battery that lets you have two hours of runtime on max brightness. The brightness as well as warmth of the light is adjustable via the controls on the back. And in addition to help you really make this lighting great, they include a rubber diffuser that actually just goes over the front of the light if you choose to use it. The panel features 36 LEDs, so while this is small, compact, portable, and affordable, it is also bright. How bright? Stick around a little longer. To charge the light and that 2000 milliamp hour battery, there is a type C cable. Yes, I did not say micro USB. This charges via type C and can support one volt to five volt charging and a tripod, which is not only just a standard tripod, but if you don't drop this part, this is an extender, which allows you to take this from about eight centimeters in height to just over 13 centimeters. So you can set it right there next to your computer, your laptop, while you're streaming, video conferencing, whatever, the light can sit there. If you don't like that mounting strategy, good thing they include this suction cup, which you're supposed to wet before sticking on anything, that could just go on the back of your computer, the side of your computer, on your desk. Either way, it's making sure that this camera is not going anywhere. Let's fire this bad boy up. On the back, there is a power button that also is a dial. If you give it a click and hold, the light will power on. And while this is lighting me, you can see on the back there is a small LED screen that shows us the brightness level. Right now we're at 10%. We start changing the dial up. It gets brighter, 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 and boom. We're at 100%, and this is this is pretty bright. I can see why they include the diffuser so you don't blind yourself. Put the diffuser on to test that. I would highly recommend using a diffuser. It really helps prevent you having any weird shadows and makes the light more natural, so you don't look like you're a total tryhard by having one of these. Either way, I think these are a good idea. Uh, if you give the power button a single push, we can go and start adjusting the warmth. It goes all the way to a cool 8500K, and then down to a warm, warm 2800K. All adjustable to help match your skin tone, the lighting conditions that you're in, and allowing you to fine tune really how you look on your webcam. Very cool. This is approximately the same color lighting that we use. 5800K. In addition to showing the brightness level and the temperature of the lighting, there is a small indicator for battery life. This can not only be screwed onto your tripod, your suction cup, or whatever, but it actually features a shoe mount, so if you decide to use this with a camera or other photography equipment, you can just slide it in there. I really like how this just lets you, you know, kind of do whatever, so you can get creative with how you're mounting your lighting. Suction cup. Same story here, the head just slides around, so you have a lot of adjustability here. In addition, this goes up and down. Yeah, no shortage of adjustments. 
If you have any questions on this light, how it performs, or suggestions for other lights that we should review, please drop those in the comments section below. If you'd like to purchase this light, it is linked via the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like on it and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll catch you in the next one. Bird out.